This is the first uh, Rogne Bowler gym, hopefully of many. It's just finished. There's still some uh, some work that has to be done. So this is like a prototype uh, version of the gym. I wasn't actually gonna make this video, but I feel like I have to make this video uh, to show you guys how cool this really is. Hopefully we're gonna make many more uh, bouldering gyms. Right now we're in Bergen, it's raining a little bit. Uh, so we're just gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you everything. It's uh, completely unmanned. You scan it, and the door opens. So this is basically the gym. I mean, every gym is gonna look a little bit different. Uh, this one has a, uh, this is a slab wall. It also has a kilter board. There's a little kitchen, there's a bathroom, there's wardrobes, and you don't even need the app. So there's like touch screens all around. You select the bowler you wanna try. Right now, there's only one bowler at a time on the wall, but uh, eventually you're, you'll be able to have multiple bowlers at the same time. So it's kind of more similar to like the bouldering that you're used to from like normal conventional gyms. So basically with the app, you can, you can see if there's already a lot of people in the gym. So if you know there's a lot of people and you don't want to be around a lot of people, you can check on the app. When you're in the gym, you don't actually need the app at all because you have these screens. Uh, so this represents one grade and then this another. So it's easy to skip between and uh, you can also go up and down. There's a lot of different bowlers and uh, they've been set by a lot of people because we want different styles, you know, we don't want just just like one style of climbing. You can light up uh, multiple problems at the same time. So that's kind of unique and also these screens are really nice. Uh, because I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to be on my phone when I'm in the gym I like to leave my phone and not look at it uh, during the session So this is kind of like just a normal climbing gym just that the whole slide up So Alan is the other half of Rangna. Uh, you guys might remember him as Earl <laughs> Earl? And that's pretty easy for you, right? 7A? It should be Smooth. So we should also say that uh, one of the root setters here, Adam, he uh, was the main root setter in the Olympics for lead. Uh, so he knows what he's uh, doing. This one has one, two, three, four walls plus the kilter board. Uh, but in another gym, we might only be able to fit in three. And in some gyms, we might be able to fit in like six different boards. Uh, so they're gonna be different sizes. Cold fire, 7B. Come on. Come on. Nice. So I love how easy it is to change between uh, bowlers. It doesn't look that hard actually. <laughs> the, the holes are still a little bit slippery because they're brand new. Also say though that we just got the chalk bags back. Uh, different colors, but they're now made in Europe. Uh, they're a little bit bigger. I feel like they're higher quality now than they were. Oh yeah, this one. This is a good one. This is more like a cop side bowler. Such a cool bowler. Nice. 7A plus, I think, that one. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. It's 
just the kind of move that you have to try a couple of times yeah. and then... Come on, oh. yeah. Woo. But it's a really cool problem. And that's the advantage of, of a wall like this. You know, you have big holes, you can make boulders like this. Yeah, and you have like thousands of boulders. Yeah. And uh, beginners can climb on the same wall as uh, really good climbers. Come on. Yeah, nice. That's a cool move too. Yeah, there you go. Come on. So I'm changing, now I'm making my own boulder. That one, I don't like the, the crimpy technical ones, I like the more burly ones on slabs. Uh, so I'm gonna try it now, uh, see how it feels, grade it, uh, put a name on it, and then upload it to the database, so anyone can try it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta tweak it a little bit, I think. When I set a buller, I try to make it pretty even, so it's not like one move that's really hard and then the rest is easy. So. Come on. Nice. I'm just gonna add that hole because that's pretty bad. When you set slabs, you always have to adjust it so much more. Uh, it's more about precision. It's easier to get the boulder right the first time on like a steep boulder, I feel like. Uh, this is just so tricky, it's really hard to, when you look at it from the ground, it's like impossible to say how it's gonna feel. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, change it a little bit again. Wait. Now it has to work. Well, that was kind of easy, but I think it's like a nice 6B plus, 6C. The cool thing about this is that uh, people can try it afterwards and they can kind of give a feedback on the grade. And then, uh, so the grade will ho hopefully be more accurate in this gym than in normal gyms, because we're going to get so much uh, feedback that we can easily change the grade up or down. You tube. So now you can see YouTube is added. There you go. That's how easy it is. 8 plus? 8 plus is the hardest one. Ooh, this looks, looks pretty hard. And that's the hardest right now, but there's gonna be a lot of also hard bowlers, uh, probably up to like B15, B16. So the goal is kind of to make a gym that everyone can come and climb at. Uh, we're also gonna make actually like kids proms. So we're gonna have uh, separate bowlers, or not separate bowlers, but like bowlers for kids that are not too reachy. So this is like the, the steepest angle is in this gym right now. It's 35 degrees. Uh, we do have some 50 degrees. We might put up in, in the next gym. Nice, come on. Come on. Holy moly. That's, that's difficult, yeah. 
Ooh, that pocket is so bad. Come on. Come on. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. It looks so hard. Next time we come here, there's gonna be thousands of problems uh, set by a lot of different root setters. Right now, it's just, this is just a prototype. There's gonna be more holes on the walls and uh, we're also getting closer to a million subs. And I have something really special for a million subs. If that's something you wanna see, make sure that you subscribe with post notifications on. Uh, also, make sure to like this video and uh, we'll see you next time.